Lovelies and welcome to Juliet's Sewing Life. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Brother Serger or Overlocker, depending on where you live, um, the 1034D. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so yes, so you'll get four of these. Um, the bobbins, you'll get four of these and they're colour coordinated. And so you can find out how to thread, because you'll see, I'll show you in a little while. You get the foot that's on it, which is, I guess, is a sewing foot. And you'll get this, which is an LG foot. That's to create ruffles. I'll show you in a minute. And this one is a blind hem foot. You get your tweezers for your threading. You get a pack of needles. Um, and you'll, you'll need two. So it's uh, two every time. This, a little iron key, what do you call this? L key. This is to change your needles. And one of these this is just your lint brush to clean out there so that's what you get in the box in terms of uh, tools or little things like that so you get those clear those up that's what you get in your little packet when it comes with you oh absolutely don't lose that Allen key you'll need that so I always keep my stuff in in the packages and it came in so much more useful and handy so you'll get those and that comes on top you'll also get some dvds i think these are i think they're dvd i don't think they're deep because my husband i think had to actually um burn them to a different format so we could watch them anyway you will get or maybe they're cd roms or something i don't know you'll get these this one is how to use the actual into the overlocker and this one will tell you all the sort of things that you can do with it um in all honesty they are like it's like dynasty really it's, it's that that kind of footage it's it's incredibly dated um the information is okay the filming the the, the quality is not good i'm going to say that you get those you get a dust cover and you'll also get um, a manual uh, that explains how you use it um, which is this one's supposed to be a quick start and this one is just some techniques that uh, like how to do a roll hem um, lacing and gathering and these sort of things so all the different techniques I guess it sort of goes with this those two go together and these are the instruction manual manual and the dvd or more like the cd rom that goes with it and it's your dust cover so that's what you get in the box okay what wonderful uses you have for a serger is that you can sew jersey fabric now it's, it needs a bit of a press but these are some scraps i just wanted to show you this is like i'm going to like pretend i'm putting a seam together these are two jersey fabrics quite tricky um or can be very tricky to work with so put those together like we're making a seam. Oh, let's just chop that off. All right. So lift your foot just like on a sewing machine. Put it under the foot. I like to have it quite flush with here. Flush with here. Because um, the knife is just behind there. You'll see it uh, come up and, and clip as it loops so that's how I like to do it so I'm going to try okay so put it under the foot oh. Oh, lower the foot now uh, with a serger it's always a foot pedal I've not seen one with any kind of like um, no foot um, thing so here we go and as you can see run it off let's clip the threads so that's it stitched like that it needs a good press <laughs> and obviously you'd have to work out your tension based on that and that is a lovely seam that you've got with a jersey so you don't need to have one of those fancy needles or anything if you have a jersey just imagine that being pressed <laughs> and there you go and you'll obviously have to, I wouldn't have a four, I'd probably go to a three, but you'd have to check 
for your own uh, fabric and then you have so that's how it's stitched two together because you can actually sew with a serger so you could actually make up like a little t-shirt or something with the serger and the excess has been caught in the tray right there so that's jersey so i'll put that to one side so let's have a look at just finishing the seam let's finish this seam once again or if you was going to if you had a fraying fabric let's do the other side if you had a fraying fabric and you wanted to neaten that and make sure that it wouldn't fray once you've made your whole lovely outfit you just do this and it will just I would this is this would work let me just make sure that's up for that would work on the cotton again shade it off And there you go that's a finished edge on the cotton let's go to next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to thread it okay so we're going to do the threading the most um, nerve-wracking part um, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos but I admitted to having this machine I bought this machine I think in Hawaii and I never took it out I did take it out of the box and it looked all good and then I left it put it back in the box and took it to Michigan and didn't left it in the box and then bring it brought it to England and finally it came out of the box almost three years didn't use it for this very reason so I know your pain okay so how do you thread your machine when you have yours as I said it's gonna come with these really color coordinates will be green this will be blue and it will be color coordinating so you'll be able to see a lot clearer but I'm setting mine up for actually using it for work so the first thing you do is you take away your catch tray and I tend to just I tend to just pop it up a bit and it just removes it just clips off and I remove that you put your thumb in here pull it pull it to the side and it will lay down flat and then you'll see the diagrams so there is an order to it and the way I like to look at it how you because there is you can't just go BAM you have to all you have to thread it in an order so I always think of right in the middle going out so the first one that you you, you uh, thread would be the green one and then the second one would be the blue one these are all underneath the loopers these are the loopers when you're threading the needles and there's two needles as again you start on the inside and work your way out so you will thread the pink one needle first which is this needle and then the last thing you will thread would be the yellow um, dial and that's the needle right on the end on that side now <laughs> if if when you're surging this the yellow one breaks that thread breaks you're fine you just have to re-thread that one and then you and put it through form a chain and you're good to go but if any other one any of those three break you have to cut all the threads and restart it and re-thread all of them yes that's the pain but it's so worth it just like child labor okay or childbirth <laughs> yeah worth it in the end but not very pleasant at the time so let's thread this so okay the first thing you want to do is you'll have this which is your tension lever always raise that all the way to the top and we're going to start with this one you thread it now let's do it all the way from the beginning so your thread will come up like so you take your tweezers and you will thread from behind so. get a bus through there thread from behind bring it forward the next thing you want to do okay all your dials should be on zero 
I want your tension. All your tension should be absolutely open and free, which is these. So this is your first one. Just like in the sewing machine, you put it for a guide. This is your first guide. Oh, second, that's your first. This is your second, they're even numbered. Now, there's a little lever. Although I've opened it, I always like to, it's almost like it opens the chamber. So you just push that and bring that down through the chamber, right here. Now, I'm gonna turn it on so I can see a bit. Now, this is the green and that, oh, let's get some glasses <laughs> and see what we're doing. Okay, so this is the green, this is number four. One, two, three, four. Now five is here. This is all the green. There's a green dot right here, which tells me on this one only to, uh oh, no, just this one. Just the front metal part here, that's the one we want to go for. So that's number six. Number seven is here, right like this. And number eight is through this hole. Now it does seem like, are you kidding me? But it is, as long as you've got, oops, as long as you have got a good cut on that, um, that thread, you'll be able to nail it. So let's just hold it a bit further. So I've got more control and right through, bring it to the other side. This is the most difficult thing I find is when it goes to the other side, because you want to, do you know what? I'm gonna take off the foot. Why? Because it's gonna be a lot easier to thread. So that's number one, that's the first thread. I always like to loop bring them through like that so that's number one this is the green we've gone to number one through the chamber here that's number two down here number three which is uh, four down the bottom five is here underneath this first bar with a green dot on it is six seven is here and eight is through that hole that's your first looper now we're going to do the same with the second one it's already through the hoop, through that chamber, although I don't need to, but that's fine. That's number three, number four, number five. This is the blue. This is blue here, it's showing you what looper it's, it's threading. This is number five. This is the blue we're following. All along here, I need my tweezers now. And you'll see, on the diagram, it says six and seven, which is this, six and seven, two blue hoops right there, right underneath. So underneath those, and that's seven. The arrow is here, eight, which is right on here. Now, there is this little arrow thing. I want you to pull it. Be quite gentle with that. Once you pull that out, there's a little chamber and it wants you to put the thread through that chamber. I wonder if you can, and there's an arrow right there. So I always take the tweezer, push it through. This is so difficult to do when I, I, I've got to be out of the shot so you can see it. And I'm at an angle that I would never be at to thread it in real life. So, oops. Honestly. I really hope I'm not going to put you off getting the serger. It do, it is a bit fiddly, but honestly, it's so worth it. It's just, see, this takes this took this is taking longer than actually threading it. Just threading a needle. 
because I'm so used to having a needle threader, automatic needle threader. Oh, that was nearly. Trying to get it at an angle. Wow, that was a literal struggle to get it to go through that hole. But I think because the, the thread is quite furry, and I think that's the main reason why. Let's see, let's get that, pull that to the back as much as possible. Where did it go? There we are. And through it goes. Okay. Let's put our foot back on. Okay. So, how do we attach the foot? Let me show you here. This right here is the little foot that goes in this groove right here. This spring hits right here so that's up now I want these underneath the foot maneuver that in so the spring is before that and we want to place it there there we go and that's your foot right now sometimes I can get my tweezers to stay there sometimes but hopefully that's not one of the times let's just leave it to the side close it here okay so we're gonna make a chain so hold it to the side let me get my foot pedal positioned Ooh, I need to bring that a little closer to me let's form a chain beautiful okay let's test it off let's make a line it up here lower your foot as you can see it's quite loose it's not too bad considering i have not done a tension <laughs> i've put the tension back on so it's quite loose but not too bad. So then you'd, I tend to keep mine at four. This is the line, four, four. I tend to just keep it on four unless something else happens. So let's, um, right. So now, oh, let's put the tray back for the collection. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you, keep your chain here, is, you can just release so I just sort of like maneuvered that off this is what I love about this one lots of um, overlockers you can't actually you don't get this with it you get this tiny little thing and that's really good for getting in here and cleaning out all the lint but this I got from um, I think it's from I think I uh, liberated it from my husband's and my son's um, clippers. <laughs> it's a barber's thing and it's perfect for getting in everything and, and cleaning out the dust. I love it. So I that's what I keep. I need to keep it in here. So if you was doing a sleeve, <coughs> you have that nice little channel that you could put your sleeve in just like that. And I love that about this. Just give that a clean. And just clips back into position just like that. And there you have your overlocker. It's right here. So 
that's up now. I want these underneath the foot. Maneuver that in. So the spring is before that and we want to place it there. There we go. And that's your foot. Right. Now sometimes I can get my tweezers to stay there. Sometimes. So hopefully. That's not one of the times. Let's just leave that to the side. Close it here. Okay, so we're going to make a chain. So hold it to the side. Let me get my foot pedal positioned. Ooh, I need to bring that a little closer to me. Let's form a chain. Beautiful. Okay, let's test it off. Let's make a line it up here lower your foot as you can see it's quite loose it's not too bad considering i have not done a tension i haven't put the tension back on so it's quite loose but not too bad so then you'd i tend to keep mine at four this is the line four four I tend to just keep it on four unless something else happens so let's um right so now oh let's put the tray back for the collection oh the other thing I wanted to show you keep your chain here is you can just release So I just sort of like maneuvered that off. This is what I love about this one. Lots of um, overlockers, you can't actually, you don't get this with it. You get this tiny little thing. And that's really good for getting in here and cleaning out all the lint. But this I got from, um, I think it's from, I think I uh, liberated it from my husband's and my son's um, clippers. <laughs> it's a barber's thing and it's perfect for getting in everything and, and cleaning out the dust i love it so i that's what i keep i need to keep it in here so if you was doing a sleeve <coughs> you have that nice little channel that you could put your sleeve in just like that and i love that about this let's give that a clean and just, it just clips back into position just like that and there you have your overlocker and before I go I want to show you so now we know how to thread it we know what uses it's for I want to show you and we know how to change our feet we just simply there's a little button here and you see it just the foot just dropped off just move that nicely out of the way I'm going to get the gather foot because this is just simply amazing this goes on this little chamber is where you want the foot so lift it up i want the chain underneath like so and there that's all in place now so i've got my gather foot on um I think I'll probably keep it there but what you need okay to do your gathers you do need to change here uh, that's to number two to number five when you're stitching naturally you just use it on zero and I just leave it I leave it right here actually and everything just that goes to zero and that goes to three with the gather foot you want this to go up to number two this to be on number four between four and five here and this you can leave at five so let's do a gather you just put it underneath the foot it's going to gather and cut the edge at the same time so let's oh, let's move that a little bit closer let's go right 
Can you see it gathering? Let's made some nice little gathers here. I've done some other samples. Where are my other samples with the gathers? Oh. Let's give this a gather. You can see scabbard that quite nicely and I'm going to raise the tension and try that again. Let's do the other side. See if we can get a real good gather going. Oh that's gathered. Woohoo look at this. This one is whilst I've actually I, I've attempt, done the gathers here. So the tension is at four here and we've got a tighter gather. I do want to show you this, which I think is so neat. You can actually gather, but which one do I want? I think, huh? let's go with the looser one. Let's go here, up to the side. You could actually sew two together. So first things first, that one goes at the bottom like so. And you thread the other one through the chamber. Now, very awkward position for me, so wish me luck. And let's go. look at that okay let's tidy it up and you can see the possibilities let's tidy that up look at that isn't that lovely that's wonderful i think that's fabulous so that's just straight up the top and he gathers at the bottom and that's the sort of thing you can do on a serger. Okay, so this has been my review of the Brother Overlocker or Serger 1034D. I hope you enjoyed it. I just want to recap. So what can it do? Obviously, it finishes your seams. So depending on what you want, a three thread overlocker or a four thread overlocker, it can do that. So it will cut and neaten your seam. So that's the first thing a serger does. Second thing you can do with a serger is you can sew directly jersey fabric, which is notoriously difficult. So there we've demonstrated to you how to throw two pieces together of jersey. Obviously, yours will be lovely and ironed. And then we learned how to do gathers, which are fabulous. So you learn how to do really tight gathers depending on the tension and looser gathers. And my favourite, having attaching gathers at the bottom. And we can do all kinds of ruffles and gorgeous little things. So that's what you can do. So I hope you've enjoyed my review of a serger. Um, I certainly can't live without it. And please don't be put off if it seems like it took me forever to thread it. That's just because I'm at a very strange angle and you won't be, you'll be able to really get in there <laughs> like I would normally do in my sewing studio, get it right in there and I'd be able to thread that. It really only takes me, hmm, uh, I'd say, I'd say five minutes, no more than five minutes to get this threaded and back. Cause sometimes I obviously have to change the color. So I absolutely wholeheartedly recommend you purchasing a serger because once you have one, it's just amazing and you really feel the benefits of that. 
Um, secondly, I'd like to tell you that I've actually developed a um, how to read a dress pattern course. And so if that's something that you're interested in and in learning to, um, to decipher all the codes, the, um, the link for that is in the description box. So click the link um, and sign up for the course. Really appreciate it. Okay, take care and thanks for tuning in. Bye. Thank you.